Hello everyone. Have a nice day. This is K. Balasaranya, working as assistant professor in the department of CSE, RMD Engineering College. In this video, I am going to explain you about objects of object-oriented programming. Basically, an object is a real-world entity or runtime entity. It is considered as an instance of the class. Usually, anything in the real world which is having a physical separation or logical separation is an object. So, we will be creating a class template and from that class template, we will create the instances which is called objects. Objects contain two parts, datas or variables and methods. This is very similar to that of the classes. And uh, objects occupy memory space because we assign values and over these values we will exhibit some computation. So objects occupy memory space and of course it will have some memory address. So anything in the real world which is having some physical separation or logical separation is considered as an object. A pencil is an object, an apple is an object, anything, anything in the real world is considered as an object. When we come for the programming point of view, anything that is having logical separation is considered as an object. Here, we are considering employee as a class and the template for this class employee is created with the properties name, age, phone, email. Later on, we are creating instances for this employee. That means we are assigning values to the properties. Raja is assigned for name. 20 is assigned for age. 78986 is assigned for phone. Likewise, we are assigning values to the properties and we will also write methods and this particular set of values is given a unique identifier which is nothing but E1. Now, this E1 is an object. Similarly, E2 is an object. E3 is an object. It's an instance. Logical separation is there. Coming for the characteristics of object, any object will contain three characteristics. One is the state of the object which represents the data. That means uh, the properties or characteristics of an object. If we take pen as an object, the color of the pen, the brand of the pen, properties or characteristics. If we take employee as an object, name of the employee, age of the employee, date of joining, all these things, the properties, characteristics become state. Coming for the behavior, any action that is exhibited over the object or done by the object is called behavior. So, when we take an account as an object, deposit, withdraw, all these things comes under behavior. The unique name given for each object is called identity. This will be helpful to identify the object uniquely by our JVM. So, here is an example person object. The person will have their own properties which is considered as state represented as variables. Similarly, the person class, the person object will have their own behavior which is nothing but actions represented as methods. So, coming for syntax for object creation in Java, this is the syntax in either ways we can write. The first one is class name followed by object name is equal to new class name parenthesis semicolon where this class name is the name of the template we have created for this instances object name 
the instance what we are going to create this is nothing but the identity of the object and this is the user defined name we can give any meaningful identifier is equal to new new is the dynamic memory allocation operator in order to allocate memory to our objects class name parenthesis this is nothing but constructor constructor is used to initialize the values of the object so the same syntax we can write in two statements the first one the declaration alone later on assignment class name space object name semicolon we are creating the reference variable here here actually the object is not created only the reference is created when a reference will become an object means only when it is initialized at this time only this is becoming as a object object name is equal to new class name parenthesis semicolon in either ways we can write this syntax here is an example for object creation in java box which is the class name obj which is the object name is equal to new dynamic memory allocation operator box parenthesis semicolon constructor later on we can assign the values using the constructor so in this manner we will be writing the syntax for object and uh, object creation the process object creation is also called class instantiation the special name is there in java for object creation it is called class instantiation we are creating instance for the class hence the name class instantiation so in this video i have explained you about what is an object what is object in the real world how are we writing objects in programming how we are visualizing the real time problems using objects and what is the syntax for object in java and an example hope this video is useful for all enjoy programming happy programming thank you all